We're here and Wolf has gone to uh, pick up his dog from the vet. As soon as he gets back, we will uh, show him the boots that we've done. If you remember these boots from Tulsa, uh, these are the ones that Archie recovered the snake on. Uh, we first uh, tore them all the way down, removing the sole and the heel. And then he removed all of this portion, which is the vamp. Took the lining out. I think I hear Wolf coming up now. We need to hide these so that he can't see them until he gets up here close. Yeah, I think that's him. I never met him before, but I'll bet that's him. Perfect timing. Right. <laughs> We're now here with uh, Wolf Stevenson. Come on over, Wolf. All right. And uh, Wolf called this, uh, I guess it's been a little over a year ago, actually. That's right, yeah. And uh, about a pair of snakeskin cowboy boots, and we've got them all done, and I'm looking, ready to get them out of the box for you. I really love the work you did on the ostrich. Oh, man. On the ostrich. I can't believe it. Oh, man. Look at that. And if they could see these, <laughs> what they look like to start with. Unbelievable. Wonderful. Well, a favorite pair of boots is going to get put right back to use. I mean, these things were trashed almost. <laughs> they were, uh, they were, they were kind of scruffy. But yeah, yeah. kind of scruffy. You're being, you're being nice now. <laughs> Man, these things are wonderful. That's, that's going to be great. <laughs> These now will have a little different meaning than they had for me before. <laughs> yeah, these were from a different uh, earlier life that I had. Well, but uh, now in their reincarnation. Well, when we get the full video edited, I'll send you a copy. Okay, great. It'll show Archie tearing it down completely. We pulled the uh, outsole uh, completely off and the, uh, the welting, replaced the welting. Yeah. Checked all the uh, insole and all the linings and then he actually took all of the vamp which is this part here yeah. and the fenders and the heel counters took all of that off wow and stitched the um, the snake skin to the vamp lining and then yeah. put it back on and that's what i was wondering how in the world they did it because I, when they started coming off i could see that, you know that there's the snake skin and then there's something under there uh -huh. yeah there's the lining under there and the problem was we needed a last yeah. to build this back on gotcha so we got some, uh, uh, I ordered a whole run of last for some other work, and then we had to build it up to make sure that it was the same I dimensions and shape as the, okay. the boot was. So right. that's what. Now the last are, are they made out of wood or? Uh, they're, uh, they, the ones that we use are plastic, plastic? but okay. I also have some wooden ones, yeah. But I mean, they're. They they're used to be all wood, but you. now they make them out of plastic. And that's plastic the form too. that you build, build yes. up on. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that's it. Well, so. I hope this snake doesn't mind too much. And then I brought you also a pair of uh, uh, shoe oh, trees for one. Absolutely. And then we have the pair of elephants. All the elephants that were too tight. Yeah. And these should be stretched out good now. We went ahead and re-inked them and uh, oh, tied them up too. So they look good. I had them called the bottom up. No, we didn't resell them. It looked like they uh, we just <laughs> dressed it That's up great. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, they were in good shape. Yeah, yeah. they were. I, they yeah. were just, I could wear them for a couple hours, uh -huh. and after that, it just started. I've got a real high end stuff, and oh, yeah. just a, even a little too tight, mm -hmm. and I can't, can't keep them on. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love these things because they were so comfortable. Yes, yes. Even though they did have a few bad memories. Right. Sure. <laughs> uh, fantastic. All right.